Welcome everyone to the next installment of Let's Play Final Fantasy. Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Online. And we are currently um, investigating the mysterious La Habrea. We have taken back up the hunt for him after um, our time in Little, Little Alamigo. And we've actually, tr we haven't tracked him down, but we have tracked down a... Um, person who has been initiating murders across Gridania uh, by means of flying eyes. And uh, we've looked and they've narrowed it down to Hawk Manor. So uh, we have been tasked by the former butler to take a party into Hawk Manor and put a stop to the mistress who has gone crazy uh, when she met mysterious people, which I believe are uh, La Habrea and his minions might, is most likely one of them, considering that they like to do so chaos. So, uh, we're going to do this with a... We're going to do this with a party of NPCs as, our, as the warrior. But anyway, we can do this with a party of NPCs. Just go to duty and duty support. And there we see that the party is ready to go and we are also ready to go so um, once you we've unlocked the manor in the previous mission or in the previous episode so um, if you don't have this option ready in either duty support or duty finder that you want to uh, look at the previous episode and make sure that this is opened up for you. Like, because you have to actually physically go to Hawk Manor and unlock it. But without further ado, let's get started. And we'll do this with Warrior. Why not? We'll level up our... We'll level up our um, DPS off-camera. Now the benefit of, of um, doing this with a group of NPCs, we can do this at our leisure. Um, if you're doing this with a group of um, PC players, then you want to make sure that you are uh, grouping the mobs up at least two groups and be taking the most efficient way possible because many times you have a number of players who've done this a couple of times. Um, and they, and uh, they can get a little impatient, but usually they're pretty nice. But being with just uh, NPCs here, and make sure you turn on your So in this room, we get a tiny key that is useful. Sometimes in these rooms, you'll find um, pages with lore um, that you'll skip if you're with a group of people. But we can take this as, as we wish. And since we're dealing with about four or five mobs, mobs make sure you uh, use your cooldowns. And make sure you stay within range of your conjurer.
Okay, nothing in here. Let's go in here. Okay. Right click and we can use a tiny key to unlock this door. If you didn't grab the tiny key, then you're going to have to go back. But there's a tiny key in this room, so we'll make sure we grab it. go that way anymore and so we can go around this way but let's see what is inside here get ourselves a treasure coffer that doesn't really give us very much. Okay. Grab the tiny key from this room because we used ours previously. And that leads to the first boss fight. For the eye attacks, make sure you either face away if you're inside the cone, or you move out of the cone. As always, make sure that you face the boss away from your party. Although there will be attacks that she throws towards the party, most of the attacks will not go towards them. Like that one. Make sure you keep your damage boost up and you can.
got new gloves. Let's go ahead and equip them. Um, and there is the green key that we want to use. And that was the... So, going this way, going this way takes you back to the entrance. Um, however, we, however, want to go back to where we came and go through the ivy door. If you want, you can attach those, attack those guys, but we don't really need to. Be careful about just jumping down here because there are enemies down here. You want to keep in range of your conjurer. Tiny key. Now this door we most likely can't go through until we get a second boss, but you can tell by the ground effects there that is the second boss room. But there's there's stuff we need to go find first. So we can't go this way and there are people in there, but there's nothing worth fighting over. So instead, you want to go to, when I'm facing this door, you want to go to the left. So we can use one of our tiny keys to unlock this door to get a treasure coffer. But we can use the you could use loot. And to replace the key that we've used, we can simply grab one from in here. There's a couple. may not use them, but why not? Okay, no treasure coffer there. anything in there. But we will have to go on this one. That's yellow key, and that's most likely what we need. Um, so instead of backtracking, we just simply go over this ramp, jump over. That's a one-way one-way blockade. We are back where we came from, and we can now open the carnation door and go to our second boss fight. So this one, we got two that we need to deal with here. Make 
make sure you grab both of them. Okay, now before you go through this Aetherial Flow, grab the Treasure Coffer, and grab the Bloody Parchment. And we got ourselves a ring we can use, let's go ahead and update that. And then go through the Aetherial Flow. And we're back at the start here. So, now... We want to go up the stairs. Okay, here we get a treasure coffer. And that is something for the Lancer. And do we go down this way? Okay. Yep, looks like that was a wrong turn. So I'm guessing the really only area we are interested in is in this room here. He's going to go and retreat. <laughs> and that 
is the lady of, is the lady of the manor. All those rituals have done something unfortunate to her. Okay. At the last moment, we're going to be released. Look away. Fortunately, I wasn't quite quick enough for that. Tank Buster, use your m mitigation. This guy's going to do a eye attack. Look away. Get out of the area of effect. Okay, we got another one of these, so... We're going to be released right at the last moment. Look away. And this time we says as we dodged it. Use your cooldown. And that is Hawk Manor. And we can accept the next... Uh, and if you're playing Warrior, you can reach level 35. Uh, you can now accept the next Warrior quest. I think we got something for the, for the Bard and something... And a Orchestration Roll. We did get something for us, though. Let's go ahead and equip it. And let us go back and report back to the butler. At this moment, if you're playing with the group, please leave your player commendation. Darkness has taken root within these halls. Sprung from the most unlikely of seeds. One cannot help but admire the irrepressible spirit that quickened it to life. Notice he has black, these guys have black masks. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, adventurer. You are every bit as intriguing as our master gave us to believe. It is no ordinary mortal who can acquire one crystal of light, much less three. The crystals make you strong, 
And it is to that strength that the light is drawn. Heidelin chose well. A pity that your existence is irreconcilable with our own. We cannot well allow you to continue upon your present course. Alas, we came here not to play, but to take measure of your strength for Master Lahabrea. Thy task now accomplished, we take our leave of you. Fare you well, bringer of light. Last we saw La Habrea in, and this is Hawk Banner. Last we saw La Habrea, he was wearing a red mask. These guys were wearing black mask, most likely a couple of lackeys. So, let us return to Gridania and let us re let's report back to the butler. You are returned. What sights awaited you within the manor? What has become of Lady Anamandine? You must tell me all. You're not going to like what you hear. So, she went so far as to consort with devils. I would that I could have done more to prevent her fall. May she finally find peace in the beyond. I know not whether the masked men you encountered are the same pair that first led my lady astray, but it is plain that they are of the same vile brood. Should the chance ever persist itself, promise me that you will visit upon them tenfold the woe that they have brought upon others. But who am I to speak of punishments? By my silence, I allowed I know not how many innocent young women to die under unspeakable circumstances. It matters not wherefore, though misplaced loyalty, cowardice, or both, I am an arbiter to a gross crime. I will surrender my author I must surrender myself to the authorities and accept whatever punishment they deem just. I only pray that gods will have mercy upon my soul. And so closes the tale of the Lady of Hawk Manor, unfortunately. But let us go back to Menphilia and report back in. Okay. Welcome back, Lightbringer. Full glad am I to see you safely returned. Tell me, how fared you upon your sojourn in the Twelves Wood? Two of Lahabria's minions. And they sought to measure your strength by their own admission. The devils taunt us. It is beyond doubt, then. The Assians have begun to move in earnest. Would that we knew to what end. Yet I will not bemoan our plight. Thanks to your tireless efforts, we are at least aware of the encroaching darkness. Alas, we can only do so much. It is clear to me now that we scions are too few to protect the realm against the threat unaided. We must needs alert the three nations to the presence of these elusive enemy. 
and recommend that they heighten their vigil. There is no shortage of misery in the world that the Assians might exploit. We have an arduous struggle ahead of us. Yet come what may, we must not allow ourselves to become lost to hope, for that is precisely what the enemy desires. We have gleaned all we can from the information available to us. Let us set this investigation aside for the present. Another matter has arisen that requires your attention. Let me know when you are ready to be briefed, and I will summon the others. So, orchestration, well, we can probably sell if we wanted to, or we can right-click and choose Use. Um, we can use orchestration machine in the in-room, and it'll give us a different piece of music. Right-click and choose Use for here. And we can see if this is an upgrade to our current weapon. It is. Actually, we've got a couple of things that our Lancer can use. So, our trip to Hawk Manor was not without benefit. We got gear for both our classes. So, we are going to call it quits here for this episode. Um, this may be a brief episode, depending on how long uh, the footage for Hawk Manor takes. But this also closes the investigation into the Assians. Um, coming up next time, we have another investigation um, that we have to take, and that's and that is going to be uh, quite the adventure. So, until next time, take care of yourselves, and we'll catch you later.